John Schroeder is a hero of Not 11. His ladder company was right across the World Trade Center, and he was the first one who reported the plane hitting the buildings. As he was walking towards the Twin Towers, he saw a huge explosion take place, and a lot of dead people on the first floor burnt. September 11th, went to work about 8 o'clock, rode my bike over to Brooklyn Bridge looking at the towers. That was always my destination, knowing that that's where I work and that's, you know, it's a beautiful thing. The uh, Surge standing right there, we're hanging out, my buddy Terry Rivera standing right here. Beautiful day, I'm looking up, all of a sudden like, we hear, <laughs> what the hell is, in seconds, you seen this, the wing of the plane come in crash through the building and explode bodies out of the building all on Liberty Street. I run in screaming, a plane just hit the trade center, a plane just hit the trade center. I get on the phone to the dispatcher saying a plane, 1060 the box, plane just hit the trade center. Get all emergency vehicles down here immediately. It's on. We ran into Mike Curley, who's the fire safety director of the towers, and he said, why don't you go hook up to the, around the west side highway? So we go around, we hook up the West Side Highway, and now there was a lady on fire right outside the door. My buddy Terry Rivera had a can, he was putting her out, that might have saved his life. I said to Sean Talon and Jeff Olson, I said, I'll see you up top. They're in the truck, I'm in the engine. Never to see them again. We were so dumbfounded, because by the time we got around to the corner to the West Side, there was 30 floors of fire. So we're standing there in the lobby, we're getting all together. I look down to my right, and the elevators exploded, something out of like a Bruce Willis Die Hard movie. People just come running out of the lo out of the elevators, on fire, fireballed. We were in there for maybe five minutes. Five minutes and the elevators exploded on us. Yeah, we, 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 we said something's wrong, yeah. I mean, the plane hit up on the 80th floor. I mean, in five minutes, all of a sudden, now the elevators are exploding on the first level of the lobby. We said, we got to go up, man. This is, come on, we spent enough time here. We, you know what? We knew we weren't going to put the fire out. We, we were saying Hail Marys all the way up the stairs. We knew we were going to die. I knew it. I said, I'm never coming back here today. People coming down the stairs from all different floors burnt. Uh, you know, missing, missing an arm, missing this, missing that. And, and uh, you know, screaming for help. And I'm just, we're just saying, listen, you got to go down. You got to go down. So we were heading up to the 24th floor of the stairwell, and all of a sudden we heard Mayday, Mayday, second plane, second plane. Swift, we're looking at each other like, come on, second plane, there's no way there's a second plane. Within seconds, our building got rocked. We got bounced around in the stairwell like pinballs, man. And we just said, you know what, time to go. We got out as much people as we could. Most of the people were out. We were the last guys going up the stairs. We got down to the third floor. And that's where the stairwell collapsed on us. And we had to dig our way out. Now the building's coming down. We can't see nothing. Once again, saying our prayers. And with that, all of a sudden, we're looking for another stairwell. Me and the lieutenant open the door. We find a body in, 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 in this closet. We were like, what the heck is that? Where did this come from? Holy shit, what's going on here? Something's crazy going on. We got, we, we got our way out of the third store. And that's where the maintenance fella with a little flashlight saved our lives. He was pointed over and if it wasn't for him, we never would have, we never would have found another stairwell. Yes. Willie Rodriguez. Thank thank you, Willie. Uh, he saved our lives. He saved about twelve guys' lives that day. We got down to the lobby and everything was blown out, exploded, everything was okay. We were the only ones in the lobby now. We're going, wait a second here. Where is everybody? All of a sudden we said, listen man, no time to cry for your mommy. We gotta get out of here. So we took off like cock cockroaches. Twelve of us, we all went our own ways. I ran across North End Avenue and I ran the building, throwing my gear off. I was standing on the ledge, watching the building come down. I was diving in the river to Jersey. Is in those buildings. There are the, the VOCs. However, 
the concentrations are such that they don't pose a health hazard. We're going to make sure everybody's safe. And people get sicker every day. People, people dying of lung cancer and everything else and not being taken care of. I think something should be changed here. Something quick. Because there's going to be a lot more people getting sick. John Phil, he runs the Feel Good Foundation, an organization which has been helping out many first responders and has been doing the job that the government should have been doing from the start. Oh, God. That's my roommate. That's his medication, 26 pills a day. He's an NYPD. I call him Skittles <laughs> as a nickname, you know. John Phil donated his own kidney to another not only first responder who was about to die. My name is John Field. I'm a 9-11 responder. I was there for five and a half days and I spent 11 weeks in the hospital that I was uh, horribly injured at working on the pile of Ground Zero. About 8,000 pounds of steel, they roughed it out, estimated it out, crushed my left foot. After fighting for my own basic benefits, I saw so many other people suffering and I decided to help people just like me. Denied, neglected, turned down, shunned, laughed at, made a mockery of. Heroes, brave souls, who risked their lives without prejudice, who gave of themselves for this country in the city of New York. Over the last couple of years, uh, I've been running the Feel Good Foundation. The Feel Good Foundation, we advocate for workmen's comp and social security and crime victims. We do this on limited resources. None of us here get paid. My board is made mostly of 9-11 responders. And we're trying to show others why we have nothing, we can still help each other. We can create that safety net and that support system for others to follow. It's not a better feeling in the world than helping somebody. I thought giving a kidney was like, wow, went in lotto, but actually helping a 9-11 responder who can't put food on this table, keep a utility on, knowing that we helped them do that, there's not a better feeling. Not a better feeling making the government look bad while they just keep screwing everything up. Here at our local Walmart, uh, I happen to get the page code to get on the intercom here. All you got to do to get your local Walmart page code is uh, look at your Walmart person when they pick up the phone to enter the code to do something on the intercom. Just pay attention to what they're doing. The code here happens to be pound nine six one one. Don't tell anybody. Attention Walmart shoppers, 9-11 was an inside job. Google World Trade Center 7 came down in 6.5 seconds. Thank you. Attention Walmart shoppers, Google Operation Northwoods. 1962 Brian, Aguario, Terrorism. Thank you. Can I get an available CSF? Please call me 212. And available CSF? Please call me 212. Thank you. Can I get Dick Cheney to the front, please? Dick Cheney, you're wanted for the crimes of 9-11. It's not just we are change. It's not just in forward. It's a lot of people who are just standing up for truth and justice. May I have everybody's attention, please? I've come with a message of information. 9-11 was an inside job. And now it looks like the police are here. I think we have something called the First Amendment. It's called the freedom of speech, apparently, which Newt Gingrich is trying to fight. Everybody knows 9-11 was an inside job. Over 36% of Americans think our government did the attack. 
Why didn't President Bush testify under oath? Well, we were wondering if you guys think 9-11 was an inside job. Did you know that they made millions off of insider trading before the attacks happened? Oh my god, 9-11 was an inside job! Did you guys realize this? 9-11 is an inside job? Our own government carried out the attacks? This is crazy! Why did Bush not even want to investigate the attacks? Over 36% of Americans believe 9-11 was an inside job. I'm sorry I'm late, Professor. I've done my homework and I figured it out. 9-1-1 equals an inside job. How many 9-11 truth people do we have here? It's their own population. It's own property. That's how you do it.